Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. For those of you who may not know who I am, my name is Susan Oros. I'm the mother to a, what I would call a, a very advanced soul who is here disguised as a nonverbal autistic. But um, I learned starting around 2009, 2010, that uh, she is an extremely powerful soul here as are many of uh, her cohorts, cohorts, the others autistics here on the planet um, who are not connected to the physical body in the same way that we have been in this third dimensional reality. And so they are able to um, connect to God's source uh, in a way that is uh, from a higher perspective from um, a higher dimensional soul perspective. And they are here to assist in our evolution and to actually break free from the third dimensional paradigm uh, in which we have been existing. So, uh, so that's why our tagline is revealing the jewels of autism. I have been uh, working with my daughter since my awakening, and it has only gotten stronger and grown since uh, 2000, 2009, let's say, when my awakening really started to begin. So uh, since that time, I've uh, grown and expanded uh, a, a great deal, and particularly, particularly in the last four years, um, I've grown exponentially, I feel just by living with her and because of all the new information and access points that she has been opening. She uh, has been expanding herself as a soul, going far out into the cosmos and um, uh, bringing new awarenesses back, so to speak. Uh, and as I've engaged with her and as I've um, been experiencing the energy myself here in really in an effort to support her because there were uh, very, very challenging days and times that we uh, underwent these last four years. And um, in doing that, I was receiving just incredible amounts of information and having um, really unimaginable kinds of visions. Um, she was transmitting information to me and or uh, the other kids as well. But um, since I live with Sam physically, uh, the information that she brings through obviously is much stronger for me on a personal level. So she prompted uh, us, meaning my husband and I, to launch a website in late 2018, no, 2015, sorry, in late 2015. And, um, you know, so we launched our website and, you know, I was offering a lot of uh, information for free, doing blogs, and um, it really trying to continue to grow myself. I wasn't, uh, I still wanted to, let's say, hide. I wasn't really quite ready to leap out into the world um, at that time. But, uh, you know, as time went on, I continued to grow. On 2018, we uh, became an official uh, LLC in uh, August of 2018. And now we are ready to take the next like leap to, for us, it's kind of a leap in a sense um, by uh, starting a Patreon platform. So we're starting a Patreon platform so that we can exchange more directly with those of you out there who uh, really value our work and value the insights and information that we're bringing. Also, um, this is the way I feel like uh, we are contributing to the ascension process. So as everything is breaking down out in the 3D world, and um, I know it can look scary and uh, the pressures that are being put upon us uh, can be uh, rather frightening at times, um, but, uh, and there are many people who are contributing by revealing truths and standing up 
for uh, our freedoms. And, you know, we're certainly engaged with that to a certain, you know, to a certain degree. Um, but what I feel our work is really about uh, the cosmic, um, anchoring the cosmic information of the new that's coming in to build the new. Uh, it's much more on an energetic level, energetic scale, um, but it has very much to do with physically becoming soul. And uh, what I'm witnessing through Sam um, and others like her is that um, the very architecture of our universe has changed. Um, the dimensionalized system in which we exist has changed and um, down to the physical levels, our density is changing and there's a lot of activity going on um, in the pre-manifestation stages and the levels. And um, uh, I feel like we are facilitating that by uh, the information that we share, the insights um, and awarenesses that I'm having with uh, my daughter and, and the other autists. Um, and there's just a massive amount of uh, information and changes that is, is underway. So this uh, Patreon platform, again, is a way for us to engage directly with those of you who are interested in um, our insights and awarenesses. Uh, if you've read our blogs and been to our website, or follow some of our work on Facebook or Instagram, you also know that I uh, draw a lot of energetic images that depicts uh, the energy of what's happening. There's so much that can't be explained and described in words. So I have resorted to drawing and since my awakening, I was always compelled to want to draw, draw symbols, draw the energy. Uh, I'm not a trained artist. And so I would find any means that I could to draw, you know, paper and pencil, sketching a little bit, um, also even using PowerPoint uh, to try and draw and capture the energy of what um, I was experiencing. And, uh, you know, I keep the energy or the images somewhat simple because I'm guided to really make the energy and the consciousness of what's coming through coherent in a simple, as simple a drawing as, as possible. So, but, um, you know, I feel like they're really powerful. And as, um, as the evolution of our technology has uh, grown uh, and now the iPad and uh, the apps for the iPad are available, I am now able to capture energetic, energetically, uh, and draw into images uh, what I am experiencing. And some of it, I just, I just feel it. Some of it I see, some of it Sammy transmits to me um, herself. Uh, I'll have lots of visions in the morning in my waking hour, just as I'm about to wake up. Um, sometimes Sammy transmits it by just tapping her forehead onto my forehead or looking in my eyes. And then, you know, I'll kind of go psych. I'll kind of go cross-eyed for a few minutes and uh, I'll see something and I'll, I just have this inner desire to capture it on um, a digital platform. So uh, they've gotten more powerful, I feel. Um, and uh, I've been able to refine what I'm uh, experiencing and bringing through. So, um, you know, there's a lot of images that I haven't had a chance to share uh, publicly because uh, so much of it happens uh, very, very quickly. Like, like right now, I'm in the midst of drawing uh, dragons and diamonds, uh, as uh, some of you may have, have seen. So this is a way for us to share um, on a platform with those of you who uh, really benefit from our work. And um, again, as a service that we feel that we are doing as a family, because this also takes my husband um, and I to do uh, what we do. And we also have two sons 
who are here um, living with us, uh, who s support the work as well. You know, my youngest son is just now starting to uh, seek his spiritual nature and his soul nature and wanting to um, live from his soul purpose. I have an older son with Down syndrome who is showing us that he is actually extremely clairvoyant and he has been holding a heart coherence for Sammy to actually, actually be here. So this is very much a family uh, service and endeavor. Everything that we do, we have to do around our family schedule. Um, but really, really feeling this inner drive to consistently share more uh, as the outer world, as the 3D world is breaking down. And so I'm feeling this sense of urgency to get as much out as I can um, uh, to help people make that shift. Um, you know, I was uh, kind of had avoided Facebook for a while, and then I just jumped back in uh, to Facebook and even Instagram. Um, I, I keep to a minimum the, the social media platforms I'm on because it's, you know, takes time and energy to manage uh, all of those. But anyway, what I'm saying is I was guided to jump back in to even just at least energetically influence uh, the, the behind the scenes uh, consciousness of these platforms. And so you see me on those platforms a bit more and uh, trying to get as much out as I can. Um, so uh, one of the, um, I got my little, my little notes here and I don't wanna stay on too long. Um, so uh, again, I work with all the autistics or the collective consciousness that they uh, of this autist collective. Um, and they are on an embodiment mission now, I feel uh, my daughter is embodying and it looks different than what we're used to. She's not willing, she was never willing to embody into the old 3D platform. But now that we are in um, uh, really a whole new universal architecture, she is beginning to embody. And I feel that many of the other autistics, uh, the, the quote beyond verbal autistics are going to embody this decade. And as they do so and plant their feet on the earth here, they will be vibrating um, uh, at a higher consciousness they will be vi vibrating collective consciousness since humanity doesn't have a clear role model of how to be a collective consciousness. Energetically, these uh, souls are the energetic blueprint for collective consciousness. That's, that's what I feel um, is, is happening through them and because, and because of them. They also have a very different perspective about 5D consciousness. I mean, I've learned a lot just from engaging with them and some of uh, our podcasts, especially for the first few months when we launched it, is uh, all about a different kind of consciousness. So um, I, hope, I hope you'll check those out. And those are provided for free and, and one of the things that we, that we offer. So, oh, and the other aspect is that since these uh, autists are on the planet. This is not like channeling. It's not like channeling beings who are um, out there uh, and not in a physical body, but these are other human beings, even though they may not act and look like the traditional 3D human, they are um, on the planet. They are physically here. So my uh, communication with them is more soul to soul uh, energetic and uh, what you might call telepathic. And energetic to me means that uh, your senses are involved in that communication. So I, I feel the energy um, you know, in my body. I, I see, I have visions and I see it, but I also feel the information throughout my whole body. It's a, it's a whole body experience for me. So it's not just what we think of as telepathy as mental mind to mind kind of uh, communication. It's not just the mental body that's involved, involved but it's the, the whole 
the whole beingness. And that's, this is what they're trying to bring to us. And this is why they are more um, sensitive. They have more sensitive sensory systems because uh, those are our sensory system is like energetic communication channels. And um, I know that's how Sammy, uh, my daughter Sam receives information is through her sensory system. And that's why she can become uh, much more easily dysregulated by uh, other people's energy, the energy around her, the energy in a room, um, the energy in uh, an institution. Uh, so this is what they're teaching us, um, how to reweave ourselves back to source. But anyway, um, the on, on our Patreon uh, platform, you'll, if those who choose to will be able to uh, also um, join us for month to month, what I call just call hangouts. And if you can't make it live, then it will be, you know, recorded and um, you'll be able to watch the recording uh, on the Patreon platform. There's also um, a private chat uh, that comes with uh, Patreon. And so you'll be able, you know, be able to, to chat amongst each other uh, privately and also then ask questions. So uh, please check out our, you know, newly launched Patreon page. There are some um, additional videos that you have access to uh, right away and some new images. So some of you, if, you choose, if you're mainly interested in our um, energetic uh, images, then you'll be able to choose to uh, support that and also then receive some of the latest, see some of the latest images and images that I've never shared before. Um, and I'll be sharing at least one image a month. And uh, that way I feel like you'll be able to work with one and I'll describe what the image is, how to give you some suggestions, how to use it. And you can meditate with that. Um, you know, I'm gonna see how it goes, see who the audience is and see what it is that, uh, you all need in order to continue to grow and expand, uh, particularly if you're joining us for uh, the live, the hangouts or want information with the hangouts. You don't have to be a parent of one of these autists to join in. Um, it can be anybody, you can be at any stage of your awakening. Uh, I can tell you for sure that just by being in the energy with uh, these autists uh, and Sammy, you will grow and expand uh, exponentially. And I feel like that's what's happened to me in the last, particularly these last four years. So check out our Patreon page and um, look at the different uh, ways that you can engage with us and support our work. You know, we are looking for energetic support for what we do. We feel, like I said, we all do this as a family and um, we offer a lot as much as we can for free. And we'll continue to write blogs and vlogs um, and share uh, some energetic images on our website. Um, so if, you know, so whatever level feels right for you, uh, we welcome your support. Thank you so much and many blessings to you during this time.